Hey everyone, it's Angela and we are here in my Photoshop to show you a trick that I learned when I first started learning post-processing on how to make sure your image has the right contrast. So there's different kinds of contrast that people want in their images. There's high contrast or high key, low key, and then there's also just normal tonal contrast. And I really believe that contrast really adds a lot to your image and can really make or break the image. So this is just a simple, really quick trick that I learned on how to make sure I had good enough contrast in my images. So this is an image that I took while I was at the Tidal Basin one morning um, photographing the Jefferson Memorial in DC. So what I would do when I was first learning how to check out my contrast, see if I had enough, is that I would actually desaturate my image. And now you can see that I have a whole bunch of grays, especially in the sky and the water and everything like that. So if I wanted to add more contrast, I would probably just go to my levels, add more blacks, add more whites, and maybe even some of my midtones. And you can see how it got a lot more contrasty. And for me, I'm really bad at memorizing numbers, so what I would have to do is just take a pen, copy down the same values that I think look good for my black and white image. I'm not going to use it. So now all we are going to do now is just to undo the black and white and now put in the same values that we got for that we got for the black and white image. However, I think in color sometimes it can be a little bit too contrasty, especially in the tree line. There's not much detail you can see there. It went really dark, so I'm just gonna bring that down just a little bit. I think that would be good. And then even in these gray areas here, I may have to adjust that a little bit. But yeah, I think overall that looks great. And you can see the difference that the contrast mix. So I hope you guys enjoy that quick little tip and bring more contrast into your image. I'll see you later. Bye. The A7 II now, it is, um, I'm fumbling. I don't really know what to do. 